hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Do you ever have, uh, you know, a senior come in and you try and, you know, stress about tan lines and things like that? But even if they tried to take their Apple Watch off, you know, a week or two before their session, they're still probably going to have a tan line. So you could do things like shooting different directions and hiding it, which I did with the senior. But, you know, we were in this field and just lighting wise and everything, we, you know, we got this shot. So it happens. So let's see how we can take care of it. Or, you know, if you ever get tan lines, you know, uh, uh, for dresses and stuff, there's really not much you can do to hide it. You can try with hair and things like that, but sometimes you just can't avoid it. So I'm going to show you a quick technique to get rid of it. And it's very simple. Just using the new remove tool in Photoshop. Uh, I'm not sure what version this is here. 25.4.0. It has the remove tool. So you can, if you want, you can do it, you know, you can do it on a new layer. If you do a new layer, you go down here, just make sure you have sample all layers. Uh, but normally, you know, I just do it right on here because it's quick and easy and it works great. Super simple. You just take your remove tool, brush in here where the tan line is and boom, takes care of it just like that. So here you can see before and after, oops, before and after. Now, you can see it leaves a little bit of texture if you zoom in. Now, I haven't really had a problem with this, you know. Let me, you know, print this out. It's not going to be a problem. But if that does bother you, if you're very particular on that, then I just kind of go in. Or if it gives you, a, a, you know, more of a texture, I take the patch tool. And then I just kind of come in and get rid of some of that, that kind of textury looking stuff. It's like that. So basically, if we go here and then real quick before and after, I'm just doing my history here. If you guys can, whoops, see this. Let me bring my history in here so you can see what's going on. There we go. So before, after, all done with tan lines. Hopefully, this little tip will help you in the future.